Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how you can create model or dialog box in your Next.js application. Remember that to create a model or dialog box is not so easy as it is easy in React. Because in React, we have a library and we can use that library without changing any code in the react but in next.js we have to do some modification so i'm going to explain you just how to modify those changes and how you can use model or dialog box in your next.js application the same dialog box application i'm going to use in intercepting of routing also and i'm going to solve one error also with the help of this dialog box so for that we have to install one application so i just close this application first then i try to go to the link to install it so here i say react model so first link is there that we have to use in next.js so installation is so easy just copy this and try to install it like this npm i react model it's a simple one to install after installation that start your application once again and go to the documentation here you see that we have to use this model like this and we have to do such kind of setting also to run it perfectly so how to run it i am going to explain in this so suppose you want to show the model we have our application here this is a page and from this home page i want to show model for that i create one button here and i say here button on click and here i write a code to open this and i click here show model slash dialog remember that that i am displaying here i need function to do that for that i need to use that model also which i have installed right now for that i create a one component separate component and that component i am creating under the component folder so here i create one component so that component name is modals remember that modals i am giving a name and tsx because already we have a model so i say models here and here i say rafce so this component i am going to use here when i want to click so i say here models remember that i want to use here and inside this i want to show something which i want to display that i want to do so for this model we need some property also that property name is is open so is open i pass here boolean value that would be true or false so i create here a state variable state value i say const is open and set is open and i say use state Remember that because I'm using use state and I'm saying this first of all as a false value. So it would be false here. And so I need to create it as a client component. So for that, I just do use client here at the top like this. Uh, then I pass here is open like this. This is the value that I want to pass here like this boolean type of value. Then I say one more property i need to pass i say on request close remember that and here i need to pass function so i say here uh, set is open to false remember that that i want here and here i say on click and i say set is open and i say here true remember that these are the requirement that we have to fulfill and inside this i pass anything i can pass any component also right now i am passing here uh, h1 and i say here uh, this is modal page or model page remember that that i want to show under this modal here i need to accept as a child so i say child is open and i need on request close that we need and I need to set the property of this. So I say type is props type equal to is open is boolean type and on request close is a function that would return a void like this. So I save this and here I provide this props type like this remember and here also I think error is gone is open is boolean type this is boolean type so i say it is boolean and i provide here uh, this one so i provide here as a boolean data type property like this 
so we have designed the boolean also here now it's showing something else some error different error is there because we have to use children also inside this so i say children like this and here also i say this children is as a react node i'm going to use like this and inside this i need to use it so i say uh, here i create the model which i have installed so in place of this div tag i am going to use my model which i have installed so far so i say model and this model i am using and this model i import from i say import i say model from i say react model that i want to use from this this one you see and it's showing some error also that we have to install the type of this also so i copy this one this line because it's a type script so we have to install data type of this also so i copy paste just same you see npm i save type at the rate type slash react tom react model that we have to install uh, so this type of error is comes now this error is gone no error at all so inside this we have to set some property so i say is open is equal to is open then i say on request close is equal to on request close like this remember and inside this i am going to use children also so this children i want to use here close also and one button i want to create here also to close modal so i say button and i say on click and here i say on request close this i want to call remember that and i say it close so it's okay right now and try to do this and we have to set some styling also later on so first of all i show you that if i refresh this so there is a button okay we have to start the application also because this is not in a running mode so i have to start the application you see that this is a button but it's not looking like a button if i click on this it's showing a model also you see this model is also not looking like a model so this model or dialog box is also not looking like this so we have to do some styling for this uh, first of all i give a styling for button also so here i say class name and here i provide some styling for this so i say rounded so rounded is okay then i say uh, bg i just put the color so i say uh, this one color and i say text color is white like this and i try to see now it looking like a button or not you see uh, then i create one more thing uh, i say padding also so i say padding is two and you see that it looking like a button now i click on this now now showing the modal or model but it not looking like a model so we have to make styling for this also so go to this model and we have to put some styling and remember that there are some setting that we have to do to make it adjustable like this so i am creating all these things also to make it more attractive and look like a model so for that i create a css also so i say here const i say modal style equal to remember that and here i say overlay overlay and under this i say background background color and that color i say r g b a and here i provide 0 0 0 and 0 0.6 remember that this i want to set here overlay property and background color should be like this then more property we have content and this content i want to show and this content should be from the top i need 50 percent i need 50 percent from the top then i need from the left also 50 percent means center of the screen i want then from the right side i need auto margin from the bottom side i also need auto margin and i need to transform so that is called translate translate to minus 50 percent means in the center of the screen i want to display this so i'm designing like this same type of things are mentioned here remember that transform translate all everything is there and one more thing i uh, do here but first of all i show you that this is running and what is the change here so i say here is style and inside this i pass model style like this i want to show save this 
so this kind of thing i want to do here and i try to go on the application and refresh it click on this and you see that this modal is coming like this the small one you see this one and this also i try to design more button also so inside this button uh, i say here class name and here i say rounded then i say color should be for close red so i say bg red and the intensity should be like this and uh, i say padding should be two for this and i click on it and you see that button is also coming and i say text should be white so i say text should be white here and once again i try to see this you see white color is there but i want to show this button to the left side so for that i say here text alignment to the right side you see and i save this so once again i try to click here and you see this is coming to the right side and in next videos i will also use this dialog box to use uh, intercepting of routing concept also that's why i am using this dialog box here but you see everything is okay but here we have some problem that if you see this here we have some error so error is type string is not assignable to type text alignment underline you see text string is not assignable to type this type of error is coming here so how we can solve this error that we are going to understand in next video remember that this is styling problem so we have designed this styling but we are using type script so this type script is not getting their desired data type so that's why it's showing this error so how to solve this error that we will see in next video so in this video i have explained you that how to create such kind of model or dialog box in your application so if you understand in this video how to create model and dialog box in your application please consider to subscribe this channel thank you for watching this video